Hi everyone, this is GeoWolf from the Fat Productions Squared, and today we are back to try and see if we can't just put this this uh, walk through to rest. So, what I'm going to be doing <clears throat> is we're going to be turning back on that um, setting. Um, Oh, which one was it? Um, I think it was this one. Okay, right, so I'm going to turn it on. We're going to let it run for a while. And the idea here is that I'm just going to allow them to take territory back. And, um... I'm going to allow them... So here's the problem... <laughs> We're going to lose probably a lot of territory from this. Um, because Dark Knights are going to get reformed. Um, the idea is to allow... I think it's Sar uh, Sargoth, right? Yeah. The idea is to try and get uh, them far enough along that they get s they take Sargoth back. And then we can go around and like get into a fight around it. And see if we can not pull in some of the... Uh, Uh, those invisible troops, or that the there'll be some sort of battle between the computer over here, and that'll take care of them, or some other thing will like just kind of jog that whatever invisible troop is over there out of there, um, and then allow us to complete the game. Um, I thought in initially of like uh, allowing the game to run for a long time while. Um, It's like overnight or something, but then I, I realized that it was going to really work because you can run the game by holding down the space bar, just sitting here, um, or you can run the game by sitting in a, a town, but in either case, well, for the town specifically, you have to, after a while, you have to, like, uh, tell it to continue because it'll go for a while and stop. But for the space bar idea, um, first of all, you have to sit out in open an open field somewhere and run it. Secondly, um, you're kind of exposed to a possible attack from uh, the random stuff that gets generated because um, while you're doing that, that's all going to be running in the background. So you, there'll probably be some really large bandit groups that'll form up during that time. Um, And yeah, there's a risk that you'll have, you'll get attacked by them and uh, rebellion. Okay. Okay, Serenades, yada yada yada. Now Dark Knight knew that was gonna happen. So what, what territory did Saren They took back, um... Weya Castle and, uh... Sar... Sarwa... Sarwa Castle. That's all they took there, right? Looks like it. <clears throat> oh, right, that's all that switch. Let's put it that way. And somewhere out here, there's some Dark Knights... Floating around. And eventually, I think more will, uh... Um... Uh, what's the word? Crap. I'm um, we'll go over to their uh, respective original nations. Let's 
So if I have any prisoners, I'm going to be letting them go. Selling them. Really, Hazadun was uh, exiled. I don't have any, I don't have the troops to fight at the moment. Um. So Kadan is mine. Let me go check and see if I have any troops stationed there. I think most of my troops are probably either at Dirham or they're at, um, um, Tolga. Waiting for the Nords to show back up. <laughs> All these friggin' Tundra bandits over here, jeez. There's not that many there, only 126. Huh. Um, let me go. I'll go ahead and take the uh, Squires, though. few captains and uh, the master huntresses um, there's some ivory sentinels out of there Six hundred, jeez. Who is that? Kramik. He's not even like a minor, a major lord. He's a minor lord. He has like six hundred troops, jeez. What was that? That one looks strange. See if I can catch up with it. Probably not. There it is. Oh, okay. <clears throat> At first, I thought it was carrying like a musket or something. I was like, "What the heck?" <laughs> had a had a troop from fire uh, from. Uh, uh, Crap, fire and, um, whatever, the other one. Get in here. Uh, peace agreement from Rodox, okay. That's interesting. So, wait, Rodox is back now? I don't have any territory, though. Jalkala. Interesting. Let's see if it shows up again. The Jalkala one. If it does, then I have a hypothesis for why it's doing that.
I thought one about the Stargoth isn't going away. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I got plenty over here. Um, hmm. Um. Yeah, just manage and grab some goods. Probably I'm low on food. Old chicken, old pork. I don't have any good food, wow. Oh, I had delicious bread, but that's it. And decent garlic. Everything else is old or pungent. Um, okay. That's the garrison. I so there's a way to sort this list. Alright, what do we got? Um, Swati and I'll take those. That should do for now. All right, let's try and go get some more uh, food supplies. Shogun Harald. Another large capacity lord. Um. Well, okay, I'll recruit and then also buy supplies. Garlic bow, that gives us zero. Decent velvet. Let's, check a, let's take a trip over to Nara here. Surprised that um, the other lower, the other nations haven't picked up yet. You gain right to rule. Oh yay, bandits! They were really lousy assassins. Now they're bandits. Okay, maybe there were there are there are bandits who are assassins. Very bad bandits at that. So Black Castle, <clears throat> Dark Knights. <laughs> That's the other thing. Um, the Dark Knights can take over uh, stuff without actually fighting for it, just because of how the game is coded. So Tilbot, <clears throat> where is that? I think it's over. Um, just a little north, uh, northwest of here. I think.
Oh, never mind. That's over here. Okay. Interesting, though. They didn't take the town. The village is associated with it. That might be part of the, uh, the coding, too. Now, so far, only the Serenids and the Dark Knights have really reconstituted themselves. Um, still waiting on Vagar, Rodox, Nords, and uh, Karagat. Oh, and Swadia, too, actually. It's true. <clears throat> So what I'm hoping is like if the Dark Knights go over there and try and take Sargoth, that when they do that, whatever is stuck over there gets deleted or obliterated or whatever, somehow removed. Somebody defeated a Dark Knight in battle. <clears throat> Seriously, Greenwald's take trying to take it back. <clears throat> so I think those are actually there though. At Jokala. What the hell? That one Rodakian lord switched to Dark Knights, and that was the only lord that was still around. <laughs> and so they, that lord ended up killing them again. That's hilarious. Does nobody own this? I guess not. <clears throat> Interesting. Join the Yardlum and Nords. Oh, okay, independence. That's what happened. So yeah, what I'm wondering is <clears throat> if the stuff over Dracula was the same as what was over with the Nords and Sargoth. Um, some kind of thing, troop that was created by the game while there was still a lord about four Rodox. But it somehow properly detected it was there and removed it, whereas the one over there by Sargoth somehow lost track of it or become de became decoupled from the Nords. After I wiped him out. Um, it's so maybe like I took over territory over there too fast or something happened on a save or a loading 
of the game that kind of, um, wow, we took it back from them. What the hell? How did Greenwad beat the Dark Knights? That's crazy. Um, maybe that Lord wasn't a Dark Knight, but uh, another Lord from another nation. And somehow, and, um, Kramik. And somehow it, um, lost track of it or decoupled it from the, somehow, in some way, in some part from Nords, but it's still, um, considered part of the faction and it's invisible and that's why it's stuck over there or something. I don't know. It's like the best way I can think of it. It might have happened. How it might have happened. Bellier has been exiled as well. The king's over there cleaning house. Right, I'm just gonna sit here and soon up for a while and let the game run high speed. We'll see uh, what happens here. Rebellion, nice. Really interesting. Dash Wall joined us. the hell Vegar might end up uh, going away again because that old that lord that reformed it went to the serenades yep there it is what the hell it's so funny it's like yeah I'm gonna reform this station and then I'm gonna leave it and let it die again so I could go back to my home nation Quest cancelled. Probably because Vagar's no more. It's probably getting, it's probably getting ready to go do um, to do a campaign against them because they uh, just reformed. We're uh, we're at war with them now that we're not at war with them because they don't exist anymore. Um, cancelled the quest. See, after a while this happens, and you have to come back here and say, wait here for some time again. Lords don't really seem inclined to just do anything, do they? I've seen them reform some of the nations, but they just did so to switch to other ones so far. 
or after they did, they switched to other nations. I do have nothing to eat. We're sitting here in friggin' Suna. It's supposed to sit here and, like, uh, go to the tavern and things like that. It's supposed to increase morale. Don't know how you use the food when you're sitting in a town where there's supposed to be tons of food. But. few more down here. No, I guess not. Now it's Gutlands. Gutlands is now the illiterate arse trying to kill me. I actually expected more of our lords to defect by now. <clears throat> or do something. Surprised they're actually still hanging around. It's probably because they don't want to leave since we have so much territory. It's only the ones that are really invested in the other, other uh, factions that will. You're all them in the Nords. Seriously. <laughs> Did not know there's a lord named Drooly. Hey, come on. I wonder if they're not reforming because I have the the kings of those nations locked up somewhere. It's always possible. <laughs> <laughs> 